Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Paris Jones Show. I'm your host, Paris Jones. Let's get into it. Today's episode is a topic I really just became aware of. It's something that I feel a lot of us go through and probably don't even realize it. And that is future faking. Now this is a topic I spent some time researching and I really wanna take my time to break this down for you guys. First off, future faking is something a lot of manipulative type of people will do to you. And sometimes it can be so covert, it's hard to detect when this happens. So future faking is basically when someone makes false promises about the future to manipulate another person into believing they are more invested in the relationship than they actually are. And this is something that happens in all types of relationship dynamics, romantic, friendships, family, work, job, associates will do this. People will make all these big promises about what they plan to do for you uh, just to keep you around. But they have no intentions of following through on whatever they said they were going to do. These people will give you a concept of a plan, <laughs> but no actions behind their words. People want you to have to rely on them, be at their mercy. They want you waiting on them so you can't get done what you need to get done without them. Sometimes it's an evil, sinister way to stop what it is you're doing. This is why you have to be careful telling people your plans because sometimes a future faker is listening and they will interject themselves into your plans, promise you things they can never do or come through on because they just wanted to delay your plans anyway or stop them. And it's worse when they're the ones who offer some type of assistance because you're like, well, I never really needed you in the first place, but because I know you, I gave you the opportunity, the benefit, the doubt to do this. And then you find yourself wondering, okay, where are they at? They said they do this said thing, and now I'm in a bad spot because of them. And trust, these people know what they're doing. They're doing all this stuff on purpose. They're making these big promises to get you reeled in, and then they got you. And now you're thinking that there's somebody that you can count on when in reality they're not at all. And this can also make you question yourself because it's like, well, they're not doing this for me, but I see them moving for other people. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Now, here are a few scenarios of future faking you might have experienced before. If this is a work situation, you'll have a manager maybe promising to promote you like, hey, we love your work. We love your attitude. You're a go getter, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes down to deciding who gets that promotion, they end up giving it to someone else. Or maybe you're looking for a shift change. You know, you want to spend more time with your family um, and they hit you with something like, hey, just wait till we hire someone else who can work your shift. Then three hires later, you're still on that same shift. They had no intention of giving you that shift. They just told you what you wanted to hear. They told you they would change it to shut you up and to get the most out of you. And when you inquire about it, they'll make some excuse to get you off of their back, right? When it comes to a romantic relationship, your partner may have no intentions of settling down with you, but they'll make all these big promises about the future of the relationship to get things out of you here and now. But just pay attention to their actions and how they move for you. You may have a friend or acquaintance or a family member who makes big promises about doing something for you a favor, something along those lines. Sometimes you didn't even ask for it, but they offered it. So you're like, hey, what the hell? Go ahead. And you notice time keeps passing by and they never do what they said they would. What's crazy is they'll act as if they never made that promise in the first place. And you're just like, in your head, are they really trying to act as if they never said this? And it gets to a point where you just, all right, F it, I'm gonna stop asking. I'm not asking for updates anymore. And I just move on. Sometimes when people close to us do this, we don't even realize how many times over the span of time they've done things like this to us. And in order for us to keep the peace, we never really confront them about it. Oftentimes they make these promises to keep you around in some capacity. They have to find a way to keep you still hoping they'll come through on what they promise so you don't get suspicious and exit stage left. It's a very diabolical way of manipulating you into thinking you have someone who is down for you and willing to help you out in these situations. See, they fake like they're going to help you. 
just so you think they're your friend, your associate, whatever, but they never had any intention of doing said thing. I'm under the mindset that if people want to do something for you or help you out, they will. And it won't come with all these excuses the future fakers use. And this is when you have to really rely on your discernment. You have to ask yourself, honestly, does this person even have the capability of showing up for themselves, let alone me? Pay attention to their pattern of behavior when it comes to you and others. Are they a person who stands by what they say they're going to do? Or is this the type of thing that they do to everyone and now it's just your turn? This, trust me, will save you a lot of headaches in the future.